Some of you may be aware that tomorrow is officially titled Blue Monday. Some say it's the most depressing day of the year where it's cold and dark and the days are so long. But the truth is most of us don't need a special day with a special title to acknowledge and appreciate how hard life can be. When those big waves hit, our spirits tend to sag, our hearts seem to get heavy, and we don't always know how to reach towards the light. But maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe we try and reach for the light too early instead of just allowing Jesus to sit with us in our pain. We practice worship, praise, and celebration. We've even already done that in the last few moments, and we do that every single week. And we should because it's good, but we don't always practice lament, at least not in such an intentional and obvious way. But we also should because practicing lament, acknowledging grief, pain, and sadness, that's also good. So we're gonna take a few minutes to tilt our heart in that direction right now. And if you're not sure what lament is, lament is very simply a heartfelt expression of sorrow for the pain and suffering that we both experience ourselves and witness around us. It's a broken-hearted cry out to God that the world isn't as it should be. Because in many ways, the world isn't. It's not as it should be. Lament is not simply a complaint, but an invitation to bring our broken hearts towards God, to meet Jesus in our grief, instead of trying to escape or whitewash over it. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are in a boat. They're crossing a lake and a huge storm hits. It overtakes them. The disciples are terrified. And where's Jesus? He's fast asleep in the stern. They wake him up crying out, teacher, don't you care if we drown? You ever have that feeling? you over the next couple moments, if you're comfortable, to just close your eyes and to just take a moment to get quiet in your own spirit, to center down into your heart and just begin to ask yourself, where do you see cause for lament these days? Maybe this is exactly for you. Maybe it's your own spirit that's sagging, your heart that's struggling to breathe. Can you make space for yourself? Can you make space for those feelings? Can you trust that Jesus wants to sit on the ground with you in the dark and tell you that you're not alone? It's not so much yourself that you need to lament for, but maybe there are people you know, people that you even love, who are struggling to keep their head above water right now. Situations that seem insurmountable, pain on a loop, on repeat with no end in sight. Take a minute and think about who your heart breaks for. Jesus. 
reasons when you're gonna wake up when you're gonna wake up and calm this raging sea After lamenting for ourselves and lamenting on behalf of those that we know and love, what would it look like to practice lament on a global or societal level? Where do you see the world not as it should be? Where are you aching for a brighter, more loving, more hopeful world for all of us? Does your heart even break that far? Can it break that far? Just take a moment and think about where is the world not as it should be. As I mentioned, lament is expression. It's often raw and untidy, and it's a voicing of the pain that we experience to God. So we're gonna give a moment of just quiet, reflective time here for you to just offer that prayer to God in the quiet of your heart, however you feel comfortable. And all the ways will be made still Just one touch 